Hi, my name is Ricardo, and I'm your host of Math Matters, and today I'm here to talk to you guys about encryption. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about RSA encryption, a sub-series of all kinds of encryption that there are, that talks about computer encryption, uh, specifically over the internet, and how we can manipulate numbers to uh, manipulate a message that can be transferred from one person to another over the internet and making a network connection. So RSA encryption, whenever you use any internet um, source, that begins with HTTPS. Any internet, um, you know, website, um, anything that connects through the internet has to connect to a server. And that connection to the server, um, to ensure that all the information to the server is private, whether it's your bank account password to, you know, your webkin's account password, doesn't matter. Uh, whatever it is, the connection has to be secured. And that's usually through RSA encryption. Now, RSA encryption gets very, very complicated, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how it works conceptually through cyberspace right here, how it works through a number, a uh, numerical example, um, and how the math works, essentially. So first of all, what is this whole setup? This whole setup is a communication between Alice A and B Bob. Um, so Alice has a message, M, that she wants to send to Bob. The problem is she has to send it over cyberspace, over the internet somehow, to establish this connection. But, as is often common with the public internet, there's a spy. A spy who's always watching and who can see anything that they communicate over cyberspace. So, how do they ensure this interaction is complete without the spy knowing what the message is? It's rather complicated, as you can see. And it begins with Bob. So, first of all, Bob has to pick three prime numbers. The reason this is is because prime numbers are very hard to manipulate, prime numbers are very hard to guess, and it's really easy to generate three random prime numbers. So, usually they're computer generated, so I'm, I'm going to pick my own random prime numbers, but usually they're computer, computer generated. Now the first two prime numbers are P1 and P2, which I will write here. P1 and P2 by themselves don't mean very much, but their product is whatever you're taking the mod to. So, again, if you haven't watched my other video, which I showed a more simple example, again over cyberspace, uh, here's a modular mathematics example. So modular math works like this. For instance, 41 mod 4 is 1, because 41 divided by 4 has a remainder of 1. Mod basically asks what's the remainder after you divide it by your mod. So, because 4 fits in 41 a certain amount of times, and then uh, that makes 40, and there's a leftover of 1, you can tell that the remainder is 1. However, the very, very interesting and great part about modular math is that if I give you the remainder and I give you the mod, you can't tell what the number is because if I tell you the remainder is 1 and you're doing it a uh, mod 4, there are infinite multiples of 4 plus 1 because 5 works, right? 5 mod 4 is 1 because it has a remainder of 1 when you divide by 4. And so there's 101 because 101 divided by 4 um, has a remainder of 1 as well. So you can't actually tell what your number is, but you can give almost every piece of information, and that's a great part about mod in terms of encryption, where you want to protect your information. So, that's where the first two prime numbers come in, but Bob also has a public key. We call this a public key because he's going to share it over cyberspace, knowing perfectly well that the spy can see it. And that's his third prime number. So I'm going to select these prime numbers later, but that's what he gives to Alice over cyberspace. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching my video. It really does mean a lot. And if you enjoyed this one, I encourage you to watch the next video of my series. And hey, if you're done with the series, there's always more mathematics to learn. Because remember, math matters.